Hi, this is Ariane from La Fée de la Mer, and today I'm taking you on a ride. We're gonna go visit my soap shop, so let's go. Okay, we are on the road. I'm sorry if it's a little bumpy. Um, I'm not holding the camera, it's just on the dash, so don't worry. I'm not um, <laughs> driving and filming. So uh, we're heading out to the next island because um, I keep saying that I'm from the Magdalene Islands and so there's more than one island and they are all re uh, linked to each other by sand dunes. So we're leaving the island called Capomar right now and we're going to my uh, native island which is Avrobar which is about a, a 15 minute drive from my house, not that far away. Down here we feel it's far away, but I've lived in the city and I've been in traffic, so I know it's not far away. So um, I'll fast forward a bit so you don't have to uh, endure the whole ride, but you'll be able to see the scenery. It's just such a beautiful place here and I really wanted you to see it, so hope you enjoy. Take you to the historical site called La Grave, and it's a place where the main commercial um, maritime port used to be before. It's not here anymore, but it used to be like 50 years ago or so, and all the fishery industry uh, was taking part in this part of the island as well as other places around here. But yep, this is my uh, home island and we will pass right in front of my parents' house. I don't know if you can see. It's, it's not close to the road. It's a big yellow house really far away. I will point it out. Um, well, I can see it, but it's way back there. There's an orange house and then right behind there's a yellow house. Not that one up close, but even farther away. So anyways, that's my... Well, maybe I'll just take a drive down my parents' house. I have something for my mom anyway, so let's... Right. <laughs> this is our neighbor's house, David, and there's my mama and my daddy's house. This is also the house where I made my first uh, my first summer of soaping. <laughs> I used to soap in my mom's kitchen, and they didn't really like that because everything tasted like soap after that <laughs> in their house. So there it is. Okay, back on the road, we are getting close to my shop. Um, next turn on the left, and we will enter La Grave, where my shop is, and it's a very beautiful place. Uh, it's uh, the coast to coast is really close here. You can see the water. The water is on both sides, and uh, yep, that's where my shop is. Getting closer, getting closer, and here we are. Go to the new shop. Hi, this is Ariane from La Fille de la Mer, and this is my shop. Let's take a look inside. sneak peek at my bath bombs and in just a second I will show you my fizzy cupcakes and here are my soap making kits for children in the popsicle soaps. Ah, uh, There they are, fizzy cupcakes and just beneath them um, bath truffles that I sell in assortment packs. They're really popular, they, they've been really popular this year, they're brand new too. Okay, so I'm just going to give you a quick general view of my soap shop and and then I will come back uh, in this video and uh, show you close-ups of every line of product and give you a little bit more detail of everything you will be able to see in here.
those are my mountain pour soaps. I have over 12 to 15 um, different kinds and um, I like making mountain pour in the summer. It's quick and easy and people love them. I have felted soaps here and colored cold processed soaps. And then on this shelf I have bat salts and smelly jellies on the right. I'm not really showing them but you can kind of see the yellow ones. Those are my um, traditional cold processed soaps. Um, they're not finished packaging, but you'll see in just a second how I place them when they're done. And those are all natural. There's no colorant uh, except for clays and coffee grounds and stuff like that. And they're all scented with essential oils. So those are all natural. So if you like colors, I have colors. If you like natural, I have natural. Those are my creams and scrubs. I have uh, four or five varieties in this video, but I have two more coming up coconut and and uh, geranium those are my massage candles uh, let me show you one I have testers for all of my products because uh, people really like to look smell and touch before they buy so I give them this possibility anyways uh, massage candles and then in the little amber jars those are massage oils and massage breads in the back those are my regular candles. They're all made with soy wax, so they're vegetable based, and they all produce a really nice uh, aroma when they are burned. Um, those are my bubble bath. They will be discontinued as I change the bottles and the size, but I still have a couple on hand that I need to clear out before we switch. Those are my soapy cupcakes. They are cold processed soaps, and they fly off the shelves literally in the summer. Um, I have a whole bunch of different kinds, I can't remember how many. Um, I hope I will have enough to last throughout the summer. <laughs> and this is my workstation. I have my shrink wrap machine to wrap my mountain pour soaps. And um, I also have my soap cutter just on the right. Those are my shelves where I keep all my bags and ribbons. And that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this tour of my shop. It may be the smallest shop that you've ever seen, but we managed to fit many, many things in here. And um, the only problem with my shop is that when big crowds come in, it's packed up really quick. But other than that, uh, it's pretty fun to work here. And yeah, hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.